<clears throat> okay. Welcome. Hello. I am Erin. And I'm Carissa. And this is Soul, Soul Sisters. Sisters. One more time. This is Soul, Soul Sisters. Sisters. <laughs> this is podcast number seven. Um, this might be our our second or third in the year, and don't get used to that because now Chris is going to start work. And yeah, I already I'm, stopped responding to your text messages. I, I know that. Sorry, <laughs> I know that. So, oh well. <clears throat> and I'm going continuing on. Did with you life. wonder if I was going to show up today? I kind of did. Yeah, I, I. But no, I. Sorry. You no, I. You are very dependable. I knew you were going to show up. Yeah. I would have let you know if I wasn't, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unless I totally forgot. But I wouldn't forget about this. So, well, this is a podcast about our lives, um, our joys, our families sometimes, and <sighs> love of all things knitting and yarn. Yeah, and sometimes other crafts as well. We just pop right in there. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fibers. Fibers. <clears throat> so our last podcast was in June, <clears throat> the very beginning of June. Krista just got out of school. Mm -hmm. And we were at the cabin. We were having friends over. Yeah. Yeah. And I was talking about um, getting a watch so that I could train for the race. Uh -huh. I don't know how I couldn't start really running until I got the watch. But I got yes, the watch and I did the race this morning. Oh, wow. And I got it. I nailed Sweet. my goal. Ah. Sweet. I actually got <clears> it <throat> done in 28 seconds. No, 28 minutes and, I don't know, 11 seconds or something. Which is two minutes less. Almost two minutes less than what I had hoped for. So that was cool. Oh, wow. There you I go. That's how that story ended. Wow. We talked about it last time. Bravo. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad I went well. I'm glad I'm healthy and I can do it. So. I hear you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep hoping you're going to sign up for Survivor. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Me too. I just saw um, an interview of one of the Survivor people on um, Jason, the Jason Matheson show. From the okay. Kansas. Which, oh, was it one of the most recent? Well, I don't, yeah. Intestines? I don't know. Was she it long blonde hair? <gasps> was it Carolyn? Carolyn what? Whip it? Whip? I don't remember her last name because they only show up. Wider? Wider? Yes. Super, yep. super yes. extra but yes. wonderful? Yeah. <gasps> was she so fun? Yeah. She was really fun. What did she say about her experience? Um, I don't know. Is she still friends with um, Yum Yum? <laughs> she didn't say oh. Yum Yum. She doesn't say a word about yum. Jam, jam. Jam, nope, jam. Sorry. Nope. I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch that. The Jason show? Mm hmm She was fantastic. I talked about her on here. I loved watching her. Oh. Well, um, she was super fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, do you want to say anything about um, life life that's happening be since June? Because I have, I have a knitting event that I went to that I loved and I want to talk about. Okay, then um, do. Okay, and then talk about summer. I mean, summer summer flew by, of course. It's been super, super hot. We live in Wisconsin, um, the west coast of Wisconsin area, mid midwestern Wisconsin, west. And um, it's been super hot. It's going to be hot again. Um, I've been gardening, and I've been making tomato sauce. Mm. Um, and I'm soon, very soon, in about a month, going to make applesauce and can that. How do you tell when your apples are ready? Ross keeps biting them okay. every other week, okay. and then he decides they're ready. What about ready. watermelon and honeydew? Because I have both mm. of those growing in my garden, and I don't know when they're ready. Watermelon, I think there's supposed to be a yellow spot on the bottom. Okay. And you, you thump it. It's supposed to sound hollow. I yeah. Think, see, I think, and then you pick it up, and it it's heavier than you think it should be. Okay. I thumped <sighs> them this morning. It yeah. sounded pretty good. But we have pumpkins growing in our yes. garden that are literally oh, bigger than that. It, they're wow! Oh, that's fun. It's like they're like that long. It, well, that's I mean, from my head to my waist is like that. I, know, I was thinking I, I kind of look like I, a I, giant I, next to you I, on this well, couch. You're kind of tall. Like, you're so. like this. <laughs> And hey, I taught a, I taught six oh five weeks of ukulele that yeah. Carissa was a part of, and it was so much fun. That was fun. And I'm gonna, I am probably I'm committed to next year already. Yeah. Um, I should play like a C G seven yes C chord for you. Yes, it's it was so much fun. So I'll do that again. And mm -hmm. um, we've talked about my Ukrainian eggs on the podcast before. I've I pumped out. I now have five and a half dozen. 
and I don't think I'm making any more for the art tour. You might sell out, because didn't you sell that many last I year? I sold, I had seven dozen, and I sold five. Yeah. I might, I, I just, I'm, I'm struggling to That's find okay. time to squeeze it all in, and That's I just, fine. I, I think, want it to be work. Isn't that the story of good artists? Like, I guess, can't keep yeah. up with the yeah. We're also going to, we're going to talk about the Pierce County Fair, yes. and I'm going to talk about some award-winning knits and some things that were disappointing. To the judge. Um, to me. Uh, we'll talk about mm -hmm. it. We'll talk about it. You'll okay. be surprised. Um, so, your summer? Oh, God! I mean, you have a big thing to say. Glacier National Park. Yeah. Yeah, we went to Glacier. That was yeah. beautiful. Um, there were times when... I, out of my family, I'm the one who likes hiking the best by far. <laughs> so, there was a, like, a mom pep talk in the car one of the days. It was like, we are at Glacier. We will hike today. If you don't want to, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, don't tell me. Yeah, Hold no. it in. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for three hikes. And then once we got to, like, the the waterfall or the yeah. lake at the end, they really liked it. But it did take some encouragement. Well, your steps are way bigger than uh, yeah, Annie it's hard work. It's, it's hard work. It's hard work. hard work. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah, okay. it was beautiful, though. It was really mm -hmm. nice. Um, the hikes were gorgeous. The... Going to the Sun Road was incredible, and mm. it went I would smoothly. Love it went well. Yeah, oh, I'm so glad you guys went. I'm so glad you got to have the family there. It's, that is, mm -hmm. that's really cool. I got yeah. to run in the mountains a little bit. That was fun. Uh, mm, wow, mostly downhill. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I chose paths that were downhill. Yep, yep. Well, kind of. I mean, as much as you could. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, and we saw wildfires while we were there. Mm. Like the last day, we the road that we were going to take to the airport the day before had been closed because of mm. wildfires. But then it was opened up the morning we needed to go. And you could see wildfires ongoing, like just uh. off the side of the road. And you could see where they were the day before. It was just black. And there were um, like pastures that had wooden posts and then a metal post. And then all the, you know, like the grass was just black, burnt. And then you could see the wooden post. The top of the wooden post was still attached to the wire that went yep, like yep. around it. But the bottom was gone. Oh, oh man. That was devastating. Yeah. That's those bad. Two places. That's very bad. Yeah. So that was interesting to see wildfires. Uh, yeah. But thankfully also it didn't have, for us, I mean, it. It was not smoky until the last day, really. Burn. So, good. We appreciated that. Yeah. It was gorgeous. I have no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> hikes were not a joke, though. We went on the shortest ones, and they were about four miles long. Mm. Yeah. Two miles in, two miles out, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So, note, if you go, be ready to hike. Okay. <laughs> uh, duly noted glacier learning ukulele was super fun yeah did you what was the did you schedule seven and you and then i said at first i said six yeah i really wanted to do a potluck a last pot yes luck. that's right and it just fizzled yeah okay i'm really bummed about that but yeah. um yeah it would have been fun mm -hmm. i Mm -mm. Never mind, I'll tell you. No, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. I wonder if you know what I'm thinking. Yep. We're not talking anymore about uh, ukulele class was a joy. It was super and it fun. It was. And You're a good teacher. You <laughs> really you. are. Oh, thank you, thank you. you thank are you. It was a hard class to read. How well am I doing as a teacher? So I'm glad. And, and I've gotten lots of good feedback. So And I'm really grateful you did it on Zoom. I couldn't have come <gasps> too. in person. But I thought it worked well for me. Yes. I actually thought it was better for me because I could strum while you were mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. and no one else heard yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I am glad because you were my test Zoom person. Yeah. And now I know if other people want to join that way, they can too. Yeah. And it yeah. worked well for Jess too. Yeah. Right? And I yeah. and I've been asked many times, can't you just do it? Can you include me with Zoom? No, I don't I don't know how. Well now I do. Yeah, you could. It was great yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it was nice that there were still people in person that you were talking to and answering yep. questions for. Yep. And but um, I 
Pepin's asking me to do it again. Awesome. The Emmanuel Church is asking for that, and so yeah. Well, and I think I will show you what I have learned. I can't can wait. I can't wait. You to think play you again. were effective, yeah. but I think you're a highly oh. effective teacher virtually. It was joy. It was so, joy. Well, we have lots of knitting to talk about, kids. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, let's go. I am just so freaking excited. So in June, you and I were talking. Um, I think at the end of June. I had I was gonna go to um, Zombie Knit Apocalypse. Did I say anything about that? Yes, you did. Okay. I think. Well, <laughs> about a week before I went to Zombie Knit, Knit Apocalypse, I went kayaking at the cabin, and I'm pulling my kayak up the steps, oh. and I did something to my back and sciatica where I was barely walking. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't get any sleep the night before I had to leave. I was sick about how am I going to how am I going to even walk from my car mm -hmm. to to the hotel. It was a week before. It was a week before, and it was it bothered me for two weeks. Okay. And um, my, the parking ramp was hooked right to the hotel. It was lickety split in and out. I walked with a walking stick. I oh I did you? It. Yeah. I didn't know that. It was it was awful. I was in such pain. Oh. And, but. Um, still had a great time. But so, I, I don't think you mentioned that at all the first time we know. talked about I it. I had a great time. I will go again. I thought it was fantastic. It was maybe $250 for three full days. No food. I mean, you did get a little bit of a snack and some coffee. But no food. You had. To, you were responsible for getting your own food. Yeah. Um, lots of real... Um, decent did, door prizes. What? Did you see Sweater Camp? It's like practically... It's almost sold out. Yeah, I yeah. did. The virtual option I looked at, but it was two seventy five. Mm -hmm. That would I, be fun, though. I wasn't gonna go to sweater camp, and then I, <laughs> what? No, I I'm going. going to, I'm you? going. Okay. Yes, yeah. I'm, yes, I'm yeah. going to sweater camp. Yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, and um, how do they feel about people sharing the virtual option? I don't know. In the future, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like only send us one bag of swag. It, it, it would be interesting, yeah. What? Okay, for yeah, me. Later, yeah. I it's, like yeah. That. Well, anyway, I am looking forward to it. I don't think I'll knit a sweater for for it, but I'll... I'm ready You'll to You'll have lots to um, wear anyway. Yeah. And Patty Lyons is going to well, be there. I did oh, see that. And I was very... Like, that in itself was like... Yeah. Whoa. I am a huge fan of Patty Lyons. Yeah, she's so, impressive. Yeah. Um... You're going to learn so much. Yep. Besides, she's got such personality. Totally. Oh, jeez. She's virtual, though? She's not coming in person, mm -hmm. is she? Virtually. Yeah. Okay. Virtually. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a highlight, I bet, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And then DWJ. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Dana something. I, I think it's... I don't know what her name is. But she... She's like some professor at a university, teaches science or something... Folks, I'm sorry if I got it wrong, um, but she knits herself s lots of sweaters, and then she's got this teeny tiny adorable little dog. She knits matching sweaters. Oh, for. I have seen that. Oh, cute. She's so it's so. They had her at the very first sweater camp. Okay, cool. So anyway, but did you finish Zombie Knit Apocalypse? No. Okay. Um, I loved it. Vesuvius was in oh, person. Oh, um, the main. Um, keynote speaker. I got to meet in person. I talked to him. I just went up to him because um, I mean, the dude's a like a knit star. So I'm not. Yeah, he is. I, of course, I get um, starstruck. So I just, is his thing, right? I think both. Oh, Plus oh. designing. He's he's got super yeah. cool taste, and he. I just went up and I said, um, super inspired by you. Thank you so much. You did a great. Um, I love listening to you and watching the all the stuff you had to say about your life. How was he? He um, seems warm. He's warm and super, he seems super shy. Oh, but okay. just a quiet, and the dude is, I mean, he is tall. Okay. And um, he has gorgeous hair. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I got to meet the Imagine Landscapes. Um, Sarah, she makes the, she designs the gnomes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I got to meet... See, I'm drawing a blank on these people. But she's got a friend 
who designs beautiful shawls with mini skeins. You're talking about Pacific Knit Co. No, the doodle no, stuff? no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I'm talking Paper Daisy mm -hmm. Creations. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, what you just said, Pacific Knit Co., the, the doodle cowl. Um, she wasn't there in person, but she sent um, yarn dyers that she collaborates with mm -hmm. um, to teach a, a little mini course on, on the doodling. Mm -hmm. That was super valuable. We And, um, yeah, it was really fun to meet designers. Cool. Um, yeah, they had breakout classes where you could just go meet the designer, talk with them, listen to them, talk about how they do it. That was so neat. That was three days? Three Full days. In I, Rochester? Yeah. Okay. I loved it. You stayed in a hotel? Stayed in a hotel. Did you go on your own or did you did you meet someone there? I or? stayed with a friend. Okay. But if you want to go, I'll stay with you. <laughs> <laughs> when is it in the summer? It was in June. The, beginning, the end of June. I wanted to see who was up on the docket for next time. And you did not see our... Uh, Amber Lindemann, did you? No, you saw her friends though, right? No, okay. There's a reason for that that I will not discuss here, and I will discuss off camera. Okay. Okay, so, shall I go on? Yes. Okay, so at that event. I just can feel a whisker right here that I just found. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Take later. Mm-hmm. At that event, I bought this really cute bag. Mm -hmm. Look at how this is. Um, it's by, what is it? It's by Beautiful Sister. And they had a lot of different um, bags like this. But, you know, it's walking and knitting type bag. Have you walked and um, knit with it? No. I've got yarn in it that's waiting to be knit. And it's just um, on hold. Okay. Oh, I have a little. I have a little card, a thank you card for you for joining in on um, ukulele oh, class. I should write you a thank you. And then I have a pick for you for oh, ukulele. So, oh, thank you so you much. Like that because he said th this little hole is grippy. Oh, nice. So you might like that. Well, thank yeah. you. I can't believe you're thanking me. I should have thanked you. So yeah, I. This was a a um, an acquisition from um, Zombie Knit Path. Was, but darn it anyway, this is darn it from Stillwater, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Um, does have these um beautiful sister bags. All right. Yeah. So you got it at at Apocalypse, but DKA has that. DKA has them. Darn it anyway, Stillwater. Darn it anyway. Every time. You gotta mention. See, them. it's right. It's right here on my boob. Thank you for touching me. <laughs> yeah. This is what we learned to do uh -huh. in. In um, Zombie Apocalypse, and then was that your first one that you thought wasn't the right size? This was my first one that I thought wasn't the right size. Looks well, just right it for that. Seems kind of tight, but um, oh, that's so, so cute. So freaking cute. That's so cute. Oh, so good. Man. Yep. I am. I am hot to trot. This is using your doodle cards, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That deck. I got doodle. doodle that was deck. just the regular. Yep. Doodle regular, deck. Yep. Because you also got the spring. I had the fall. spring one, and I am I am hot to try to find a set, a DK set where I can knit the cowl. Uh, yeah. With DK. Spring. Now, I really like that spring one. I love. Are I you gonna it. do a cowl with it? Yeah. Because you could do it on anything. You could do it on like the border of a. On the cuff of a sweater. You don't want to. I want. I want a. I want a Mobius double cowl. Is there a fair amount of math involved when you use these? No, none. What? How can none. Be none? Because she said it's based on so many stitches, a so many stitch repeat. I I don't want to say it here because I think you have to find, uh, like if I wanted to do it on a sleeve, I'd have to find a sleeve that was the right number of stitches. Then. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I could maybe add whatever it is, mm -hmm. 8 or 12 mm -hmm. or... I can count. 5. Yeah. She's got a whole formula in the in the little doodle packs. And, yeah. 
That's cool. It tells you how to make a singular one or a double one. Um, Your color combos are really cool on here. Uh, God, I like blue I love, and yellow. Yes. That looks so good. Thank you. And I did, I, I knit another one of these with cups around around here with hearts in them. And I filled, I put my friend's favorite candy inside and then gave it to her for a birthday gift. How sweet is that? Yeah. Do you think teachers would enjoy that? Or as a teacher, would you be like, oh, no. If I, if I was a teacher. Who yeah. knit, then you would appreciate yeah. it. Teachers, teachers who don't knit will never get it. They will never get it. it. That's true. But look at, I have a little wrist warmer if I wanted to. I mean, it's super cute. It is. That is cool. Mm-hmm. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Can't okay, wait to see babe. what else you make up with okay. that. Do you have something you want to show? An FO. An FO. Yeah. Do it. I will start with my little guy, if I can find it. Oh, no. No. no I had the kids don't. bring it up, but I... Maybe it's in here. I don't, oh, yeah. I can hear it. Okay. I think it's in here. Yeah. Remember last time I had done the Swaddle oh, Pals yes. puppy? This one's even better. Oh, the God. little owl. Or bird. Mm. I don't know. This oh, one. I like this one better than the first one. It's cuter. I like it. So, oh, listen to the rattle. Do it yep. again. So this is Susan B. Anderson Swaddle Pals Volume 2. And I didn't knit a little blanket for it yet. I might. I might not. But isn't that fun? Have you ever done that? You've probably done that on your gnome stuff. The little... Uh, what is it? On the top. I don't remember. There's like loops. Oh, and then you wrap yeah. it. And then you yeah. clip it yeah. or something. So oh, she's going to look so cute on there. You guys, Susan B. Anderson writes fantastic patterns. Mm -hmm. Yep. So here's number two from that set. I And I like the hand sewing on there, the little beak. That's oh, cute. Oh, that's so cute. So there, that's a little epo for me. That is so cute. Isn't it neat oh, it yeah. Okay, there you go. Your turn. Okay, so Darn It Anyway does a birthday club. Yeah. So if you sign up for the birthday club, um, you get... And one day a month, if one day a month they have a birthday party, um, you get twenty dollars for your month to spend on whatever you want there. You get fifteen percent off whatever you buy there when it's your birthday month. When it's your birthday month, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I went on my birthday and I bought three <laughs> balls. Yeah, I know this is my third one. I bought three balls of it looks so Shepel, good every time. Shepel, Wool oh. um, edition three, and I knit this. Look how pretty that is! Ah, oh, I look love so love the colors of it so yes. much. Um, what's you know, Shuffle? Do you have a, a band for that? Mm -mm. Oh, if they make the Zabber ball. The, yeah, that's the what I was ball. wondering. It's not the Zabber ball though. No, nope, it's not the Zabber ball. So three skeins of it. Yep, just. Barely made. I I had a little bit left of a couple of them. Mm, look how cute that is. Even the edge. Oh. I like the edging that she has you do on this. Me too. Oh. That turned out wonderful. So was one of them turquoise? One of them was like this orangey pink, and then one was like a green or a purple and blues. <laughs> don't know. I don't know. You, put, you can put it on. Look at that. How pretty oh, that was. Oh, my that God. Right there. I like that. I love red that, too. Orange. I just wish it would have all been reddish. Yeah. Ooh. But you can't go wrong with blue, nope. either, because then nope. it makes you... You can't. Here it goes. See if I can... Oh, gosh. That's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Yep. That's so I might pretty. might keep it on, okay. because... Keep sure, it on. Yeah. It's so pretty. That's beautiful. So this is my third one. My first, my first one. <laughs> is this is your like favorite a, out of the three? Uh, yeah, probably. I think it's mm -hmm. my favorite out of the yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah, those colors are beautiful. I'm sorry. This is your third one. It's all right. I, it was my third one. One is kind of yellowish, rusty, no, yellowish and, and deep um, teal. And one is like a red, white, no, a red, yellow, and a blue. And then there's this one. That first one you use, spin cycle mm -hmm. yarn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This I couldn't is, find that one, so I looked for it, but this is so beautiful. See, here's here's the very first one I knit, I think. I can't. I think, yeah, this is the very first one I knit. I'm not sure. I don't know. This could have been the second. That's uh, probably the second. This I is think the it's second the second. One. This, this is the second one like I knit. <laughs> Look how <laughs> very similar, but not the same. Mm -mm. I love this. I want more of this red. Yeah, the red with the oh. uh, peachy orange. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, if we're still on that line, then I'm going to take this off because this is a sister pattern to that. You can find me on Ravelry, Erin Marks, M A R C K S. There might not be a space between the names, but the, I put almost everything up on Ravelry, so. So that's The Shift Cowl by the Andrea Shift Maury. By Andrea Maury. This <gasps> is The Night Shift by her. Oh, what? The which heck? I finally found a great way to use that jewel spun. Uh, maybe it's by Serdar. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, I think it's like an acrylic yarn, but it was gifted That's to me. So pretty. And then I found that green combo, and I thought maybe this will work well, and it did. Plus, I used up a couple other scraps in here. Oh, that I really like. I think it turned out beautifully. Me too. You see that? Did you block it? I did. I did actually block it. You don't think I did? I did. I'm just asking. I did, but then it's unfolded and put in the. So that, so how are you gonna how are you gonna wear it? I don't know. I know. It's just so it's like I don't do shawls very often, but oh, just there, like that. Ah, oh, when it's cold, I might keep this oh, one like pretty. at school to mm -hmm. wrap around mm -hmm. myself on a cold day. Mm. Like, maybe that's better. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know the right way to do these. I never know the right. I way. have um one of those buckle things like that I could do that then maybe it won't fall off me I have a buckle thing too and I never use it because I, I I hate it you don't like the look of it or what no okay well but I do have my removable it. buttons oh yeah are those working out well for you I haven't I it has been too hot Probably for me to try and use any it's not shawl weather right now but here <sighs> here's my removable button and you could yeah mm-hmm I'll yeah, show that so later. I'm pleased with this. Yes. Really happy with how that turned out. Oh, that's one. Okay, I'll just stay right here like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yours? Me. So this was Night Shift by Andrea Mowry, Big Shawl, and then I used that Sirdar Jewel Spun and uh, that Lobby and a Make Hori Worsted that I had left over from my sweater, even though I had knit it six inches longer on the bodice than what the pattern called for. So she left a lot of... Yeah. wiggle room which I appreciate um, and a couple scraps there was a Malabrigo scrap in here that looked really good okay so you guys if you're a beginning knitter this is super easy to do this is just slipped stitches yeah it is so um, it can it can be intimidating but it's it's really not it's really really easy and it's the yarn that's changing colors most yeah. of the time Yep, the yarn is changing colors, so, yeah. All right. Okay. So, when I was at Zombie the Apocalypse, I saw a pattern for a thing called the double-crossed cowl. Mm -hmm. So, I started knitting. I, I saw it. I fell in love with the yarn and the the pattern, the design, I fell in love with the whole sample. So I buy... I Did buy, it look just like that? Yeah. Okay. Just like it. I buy the yarn, I wind the yarn, I start knitting the pattern. Well, no, I read the pattern and then I realize this is double knit. Mm -hmm. So um, you're knitting a reversible fabric. Um, and when, when it's got a pattern on one side, you have to, in your mind, reverse the colors when you go back the other way. It, it can be complicated. You're basically knitting two layers at one time. You're knitting two layers. That go together like yep. that. So when you're knitting on one side, if you're knitting on the dark side, you're purling the, the light side. Yeah. So you... Every other one, then when you turn it around, you're doing the opposite. Yeah. So, here we go. 
Here's the dark side. <laughs> That'll be fun for you to wear in October. It's going to be really fun. Uh -huh. And then here's the light side. And there's no wrapping yarns or anything like that, right? No, there's, there's no wrapping yarns. It The directions the give you a very specific way of casting on. They give you a very specific way of doing the edges so that your edges don't pull apart because you have you actually have two pieces of fabric here. The directions wanted the back seamed. I didn't want the back seamed, so I put a removable button here that I can take out if I want to. Um, Who wrote this pattern? It's nice and neat. I don't, I think Muse 2330 from Hastings, first of all, they died, she died the yarn. She may have written the pattern. I don't know if she wrote, wrote the pattern. I wasn't a real fan of the pattern. Um, but the fair. end product, like, I just like how this is finished. Like, that looks really nice there. It's not, yeah, it looks really nice, I think. Yeah. I think that's well-finished project. And then I, I added a little, I yeah. made this tag. And oh. then it's just, but I'll, I'm going to wear it with this out because this yarn, this multicolored yarn right here, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. I'll probably order a sweater quantities of this and um, oh, knit really? a sweater in that because really? I love it so much. Yes. That exact color? That exact color. But I can't oh. wait. I cannot wait to wear this because I think it's so cool. And it was a challenge. And ladies and gentlemen... <clears throat> This is a Pierce County Blue Ribbon Award winner. Ah. She liked the she liked the um the point. And really um that was a bitch. <laughs> so I'm glad she liked the point. So she noticed. Yeah. It was it was not fun. Double crossed knitting pattern. Double crossed cowl. So you got some comments in your judging? How did you know mm -hmm. that she liked the point? She wrote that she, down. She wrote that down. Okay. Did you get comments for all of yours? I did. Okay, that pattern is Double Cross Bandana Cowl by Sarah Lawrence. I believe Sarah Lawrence is the... Muse? Yep, Muse um, 23... 20, 23, 30, 20. 20. Muse 2320 mm -hmm. is the suggested yarn. Yep. I bought the kit from her at, um, at the market at Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, I love it. Look at how even you can do it. You can hold it that way. Where the back is, it's like peaking. Well, but the back's not going to peak when you put it on. I just need to mess up. Okay. okay. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I think I only have one more FO. How many FOs more do you have? One, two, three. So will you show another one then? Sure. Mmm. <clears throat> this. Yes. Is the snow globe hat. This is a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. We've knit this since June. No. Um, I don't know if I've ever shown this. But oh, you, you knit we, it I before wanted June? to talk. Yeah, I knit it last winter. Oh. But I couldn't wear it because I wanted oh. to enter it in the fair. Yes. <laughs> so this is <laughs> this is the snow globe hat by Tin Can Knits. It is something like Barocco vintage it's Barocco something kind of yarn it's it's a worse than weight yarn I really liked it it could have some acrylic in it um held double with this um sequined, sequined yarn from Crafty Jackalope mm -hmm. because I wanted it to look like snowing and so um I'll probably I don't know if I'll add a um pom-pom on it or not but no I hope you do and it's so freaking that's cute that's really I really love pretty this hat so much and I couldn't wear it all winter long because the fair will will not dock you if you if yeah. it shows signs of wear well so thank wear god it. you can wear it this winter I know I'm gonna wear the shit out of this hat I love it so much I want to that makes me want to knit something with sparkle in it mm -hmm. not just sparkle but specifically those sequins that's yeah. really cool I think Ruby would love. Oh, that. she would love it. And you can't, you can't feel it on your no, on your head. I I decreased. 
I cut out part of the pattern's um, globe part on, on the design because I wanted it shorter on my head. Okay, I was going to say, I think your yeah. head is smaller than mine. Yeah. It's cool. I'm not going to stretch it out, don't worry. Well, I don't, I'm not. Well, that's very narrow for you, but oh, it's yeah. cute on you. It's too short for my head, yeah. but it's yeah. beautiful. I do kind of re regret making it a little shorter, but it fits fine. It fits so, your head really yeah, well. Yeah, it fits pretty good. Yep. So, so that was another blue. Okay, an I was winner. wondering, did yeah. what comment did she leave for that? She, I think she commented pretty sparkle. Okay. Um, then, I probably have shown these on here before. Another tin can knits pattern. Um, it's called Sitka Spruce Mittens. There is a hat to go with it. Mm -hmm. um, knit out of Sistari yarn. It's not a free pattern, is it? Mm -mm. Okay. But I, I yeah, love, pretty. love, love this pattern. I love this yarn. I love everything about it. And the judge said? Got a blue ribbon on those. All right. Um, she said, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. She, um, she liked the cabling in the pattern and, mm -hmm. um, just nice work. That's what she said? Yeah. It's not very specific. No, yeah. it's never specific. Then we come to this. Okay. This must be the letdown. Yep. <laughs> I don't, ladies and gentlemen, I don't like losing. I don't like getting <laughs> anything but a first place. And I thought this was maybe going to get me a champion, but it freaking got me a third place. A white ribbon. A white ribbon? Yeah. Wow, that's a surprise. That's an insult. So here's what happened. This is a beautiful. I want to hear all of this. <laughs> okay, so first let's just talk about how lovely this blanket is. Uh huh. This blanket, let's look at this. This is. Here, I'll hold it, you talk. Uh, in, knit in Blocks. It's called Building Blocks by Knit Pearl Hunter. Michelle Hunter is her name, I believe. And um, once you knit them, then you have to seam them together. You seam them like here, here, and oh, you see them, seam them here, here, and here. And then you do one long seam. All right. So let's put this down for a moment. Look how pretty. All those textures. Mm -hmm. And this is knit out of Sistari um, worsted wool yarn um non-treated so it's you know not super wash or anything it's really 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 nice and i like this pattern because you could knit one block at a time 12 inches um block them to 12 inches and um you didn't get bored mm -hmm. yeah corinne has made one of yeah, these corinne too, has right? made one of these too for omer yep and um it's really nice so Carissa knows that I had a problem on the very last seam, at the very last yeah. um, intersection that I had to rip out and, and redo. Mm -hmm. But you can tell that it's it's hard to tell where that intersection is. Okay. Well, anyway. Get it closer. Okay. It's still hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> I get to... I get to, let's look and see what I got. Yeah. And I look at all my stuff. You turn it all in on Wednesday? Mm-hmm. And then you come back judged Friday? On, judged on Thursday morning. I came back Thursday late afternoon. Okay. I look at this and... Um, is this the first one you look at? No. Okay. This is the last thing I looked at. I'm okay. um, blue ribbon on my gnome, by the way. Okay. So, yeah. but this is the one that stays. So I get there. I'm I'm looking for my blanket. It's got a white ribbon, and I'm I'm pissed already. I haven't even read her comments. <laughs> and up in the corner, on her comment sheet, it's written beige. Um, I have a picture of it upstairs because I. <laughs> I'm kind of hanging on to this. <laughs> Beige blue. Beige blue. Yeah. What does that mean? Blue ribbon. No way. No. It's written on my comment sheet. It's written brown white. And the white ribbon's stapled. And it's a 
attached to this blanket. Well, this blanket isn't brown, uh-huh. I look at the brown blanket that has the blue ribbon on it. <clears throat> and it says beige, blue. Just switch it. Wait, listen to me. And Corinne was with me. Mm -hmm. And I said... She would have been the, the um, what's it called when you draw everyone's attention to you? Like if Corinne did like the distraction, so you then... <laughs> I, I wanted to. Well, I didn't. Because it's stapled to my... It, my tag was stapled to my card. So... Just rip it off. No, we walked over, of course, to the to the Seaforth building to tell someone, because that's the way Corinne wanted to do it. Good and idea. So, and I had photographs, and this is an error. Mm-hmm. All right. Could well, you tell by the quality of that blanket... The blue blanket. That the brown was... blanket. The big yes. Blanket. Brown. No. You you. In terms no, it, of it the looked quality nice. Of it looked the... nice. Okay. Yeah. So somebody said, "Okay, I'll look Wait, into it." But was it more or less complicated? It wasn't any more complicated. What kind of blanket was it? It was. It had uh, some eyelet work and it had some um, cabled work. Okay. Okay. So, but it wasn't seamed. Mm -hmm. and she she didn't like my seaming. But anyway, time goes on. Um, time marches on. Wait, what did the person say when you told them? They said, I'll look into it. And I think she called the, the superintendent gal of the knitting area. But not the judge. There's, she may have called the judge. There's a superintendent of just the knitting area? Well, there's there's somebody in charge of knitting. There's somebody in charge of photography. Somebody in charge of the art department. Wow. <clears throat> so, I thought, all right, somebody somebody's at least looking into this. I get back sometime later to my blanket... Later Thursday night? Later Thursday night, because okay. I watched the talent show. And mm. on my blanket, <clears throat> it now has the beige comment sheet on it. Yeah. Crossed out blue, written white. So you're not convinced. No. Did you look at the brown comment sheet? No. Well, you needed to do that to see if... I didn't really give a damn. There were more positive it. comments on the brown. You know what? <clears throat> my my motto for you August didn't is... give a damn. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You clearly... My motto for August is let it go. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I, I just... It's like, Doesn't whatever. Matter. You like the blanket. It's, a, it's, a, what it's it a GD white ribbon. L7 loser. Have, That's fine. It's not a pink. Pink is the lowest. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a white ribbon before yeah on what i don't know i i let it go <laughs> i let it go um i don't hang on to those whites and i don't even remember what i got blues on so really i doesn't matter i mean yeah so that's my story on the blanket yeah that's a good story but i did get a champion on a piece of art that's at my neighbor's right now and getting she framed mad in matted cool yeah so that's cool that. yeah well done thank you proud of you uh, I think then one more FO, which yes. is this. This is the Emporio. Yes. Okay. Um, the sweater. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can see that. Okay. We have some lace work here, and we have a detail like a tuck, a tuck right here. Yeah. Tuck pleat sort of thing. Yep. Tuck pleat. That's what it's called. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I knit this when Owen was not born yet. Oh, jeez. Linen. Yes, it is out of quince linen. linen. <gasps> The pattern is called Emporio, and I, I don't remember the the writer, but I can look it up. Um, but it's pretty comfy for a summer top. I made it really long, like longer than it's, I it's love supposed it long. to be. I really love it. Do you? I yeah, don't know. I, do. I, I didn't know. if It's kind of too much fabric, in my opinion, when it's long, but... Mm. But I like it. It's fun to wear. And I really think really that, that back... The shaping is so cute. The lace this is, is cool. cute. I think yeah. that's cool. The lace back there. It fits you really nice. So Thank you. I was mm -hmm. pretty happy with the fit. I think yeah, it I love maybe fit. a little, but then I would have been tight and I don't yeah, really want no. it tight. So that was mm -hmm. a 
that was that was a fun knit, a mm -hmm. fun summer knit. So, Emporio. Yeah. Love it. FO's done. FO's are done. For me, are they done for you? Yep, sure are. All right. Whips. <clears throat> Whips. I'm just looking up the author. I have a whip. I have one whip. Okay. Just one. Really? Yeah. Just just one. Okay. And and because I've shown all my other whips before and they're still whippy. So <laughs> um, still being whipped. This is a skein of yarn that I got as a gift from a friend um, that is dyed with botanicals. Oh. Okay, so this is... Hold this little end. So you oh. can tell I started my decreases here. So it's going to be a little bitty bandana kind of thing. Um, and um, it's called La Laguna. The yarn is or the no, pattern the is? The pattern is called La Laguna. Okay. And you can tell that it does... <clears throat> Three rows of eyelets, and then a row, then a mm. longer spaced row of eyelet, eyelet, three rows of eyelets, longer spaced two row of eyelets, and that's the pattern. And it's just going to be like, here's the point, it's going to come around here, it's going to tie in a little tie right here, with this sticking out like under a shirt. Be that super looks nice. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that yarn? You said from a friend. <clears throat> I got it from a friend named Kim that I met at sweater camp the first year. Um, it was a sock blank. And I unwound that sock blank. And it's been sitting in this cake for a long time waiting for the right pattern to come along. Mm. And this is what I decided to knit with and it. it's botanically dyed, huh? Botanically dyed. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and... Um, the yarn dyer is um, eco printed okay, sock. So the blank. yarn dyer is called Berry Fun Yarns. Oh, that's cute. It's an eco printed sock blank. So berry and, Fun Yarns. Is yeah, right on the Berry shutter. Fun Yarns. And it says Coreopsis, Zinnias, Bellflowers, Asiatic Lilies, and something else I cannot pronounce. Rudebeckia. Yeah. Cool. So uh -huh. she used those things to dye that? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. And so I will be done with this shortly. Oh, your this is your sweater camp stitch stoppers. Stitch stoppers. Those are cool. And then over at <clears throat> over at the the zombie apocalypse, I bought stitch markers. Okay, just a minute here. This is my cut. Come on, come on. This is Dorothy oh. from The Wizard of Oz. I thought that was Dolly Parton. Can no. you get it closer? You get, are your arms long enough? Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. I have a Tin Man, Cowardly Lion. I That's have a cool. Wicked Witch. I have a Glinda. Um, I have Scarecrow. So yeah, very cool. Yeah. Uh, I just found this Emporio. It's yep. spelled E M P O R E I O by Mona C Nichlio. Something like that. Emporio E M. Look, I think this look pretty close to that pattern. It sure does look close to the pattern. Come on. Yeah. Can't get it. Sorry, friends. I don't know. There it is. Mine's not see through like theirs, I don't think. Mm -mm. No, it is not. No. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> one of my whips? I only have two. Do it. Oh, but you only had one. Yeah. So, okay. One. It, I shared it with you, and I think you were skeptical of it, and <laughs> then I slowed down on it. Um, This is a baby cardigan sweater by, I don't know, Tiddlywinks, something like that. I don't even have the pattern in here, because I pretty much abandoned it. Um, but I think it would be cute, but I'm just is using this the up top scrap. Of it? Yeah, this is the top. And I'm just using up scrap yarns to do stripes. Because I got a bunch of scrap yarns that I think would look nice together. 
like this and this. But I think your reason for skepticism was because it's for a baby yeah. and it's not super wash or very friendly yarn, which I think is a valid point. So I never should have skepticized you. You didn't say it. I just read it from your face. Well, I'm sorry I did that because then I made you doubt what you were doing. Well, you should just do it. I can you decide whether that. I follow what you think or not. So I don't think you need to feel bad about okay. anything. I mean, uh, it struck something that to me seemed valid. So yeah. I, was, I love that this little color here. This Yeah, isn't that? Oh, that was from Northwood's yeah. Fiber mm -hmm. uh, sock set hat. I actually did a hat out of it a couple of years Is ago. Is it worsted or DK? DK. Yeah. Um, she has a cool... Uh, like Halloweenish, fallish, striped sock yarn mm -hmm. that almost got me to purchase it, even though I don't love knitting socks. Um, that I just saw maybe yesterday. Northwoods Fibers. She has some really cool yarn. Really cool yarn. It's ringing a bell. Mm -hmm. She's. I think she's from Wisconsin. Mm. Which something else you said was gonna make me. Oh. Did you know that? Alicia Munson from Amory. She's a runner, track runner. Like she runs the 5K and the 10K. Yes. I know. Her face is telling me, no, I don't know this because no. I don't pay attention to that. No. But she's my uncle's niece. Not my cousin, but what would it be? We were just talking about that. First cousin, seven times removed. Well, she's, she's not, not she's even. She's your uncle's niece, She's and she's not related to you. She's, she's not related nothing to, to you. But she's, no, she's not she's related to me, okay. but she's related to my uncle. And she just got fifth place at the World Championships in the 5K. Well, she's that's cool. 24 from wow. 30 minutes away from here. And she's going to do the 10K pretty soon. Or no, that was in the 10K and she's doing the 5K in the place. So impressive. Like, she's going to she try to get a Olympics? medal at the Olympics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 That's super exciting. Oh, so impressive. Yes. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, my last F.O. No, whip is almost an F.O. It's so close. But I did not finish it before this. And I am mm, not in love with it. But I'm not hating it. It's okay. It's okay. The I'm not in love with it, but I'm not hating it. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. I love the pattern when I saw it. The pattern in the picture that I saw was for an infant. So I'm knitting this in the biggest size they have of the pattern for my five-year-old. And it's turning out to be, he's going to need to grow into it. Which is okay, because you don't want to knit something and it only fits them for a month and then it's over. I can't wait to see this, but if it's what I think it is. the bird-to-sweater yes. ratio when it was oh. an infant sweater was really sweet and i feel like the bird to sweater ratio now makes it a little less sweet and cute but here we are oh i think it's just as sweet and cute and that is so cool it's gonna look better when i've got ribbing around the neckline oh. the ribbing really helped pull things in before and when i added the sleeves God and dang, stuff look at the colors that's kind of neat isn't it this yarn feels really nice yeah this was it's just i think isn't it just cascade heritage i think so yeah you the would recommend that right because it would wash up easily for a yes. child who wipes his face on his shirt often. <laughs> so i need to add a later you come back and you stitch an eye circle embroider sort of thing here and some legs but this is the bird sweater by Knitting for Olive. And I'm knitting it for Vinny. And he's pretty <laughs> excited about it. So it looks kind of cute on the screen. Cool. It's I think it is too. I think it's super, super duper cool. Now my mom was like, wow, that's so impressive. You should bring it to the fair. And I was like, I could not bring this to the fair. Intarja? Like my intar it's not sharp in terms of like making sure things look neat together. I wouldn't know anything about it. I've never done it. You've never done Intarsia? No. Hmm. So tell the people what Intarsia is. Well, for Intarsia, you're using it's color work, but there's blocks of the color in the middle. So like my brown 
is all the way around except right on the bird, but that means that you knit this back and forth. You can't knit it in the round because then your color that you need would be over here when you came back to this side. So this, I've never knit a sweater like this before where the first thing I did, you start at the bottom and you knit up and then you do the, the bird here. And so then I'm knitting with brown here. Then I start the bird color, whatever that needs to be for that row. And then I have to have another spool of brown to do this brown here. And then I come back using that spool and then I pick up my color work that I left right there, do that, and then I go back to my original brown spool here. And then back, colors, brown, brown. So you and so at some point oh. I had like well, like this yes. year, like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six spools going, you know, like hanging from it as you're doing it. And you've got to make sure you wrap them so yeah. that they stay yeah. together. And that's the part that I'm still working on and learning because sometimes it was very difficult for me to keep that wrap a consistent tension. Yeah. That was tough. And I thought, oh, I'll just wrap it into the next one. But then later I realized, oh, I shouldn't have done that because it does look slightly different when you do that. So, but it's, I think it's all right. I think it's turning out okay. Benny will never care. He'll never know. Yeah. He does seem pretty happy with it, but I think he also noticed that he was like, oh, he wasn't like, yeah, but he does keep asking, mom, how are you doing? Anyways, I didn't finish what almost I was saying. Almost done with that, almost done here yeah, with that's the sleeve, all and then got. we got a collar. And that's, yeah, so it's very close to being done. You yeah. Know? Hour, maybe. Yeah. Um, so you knit, so then I knit all the way up to here, to the shoulder seams. Bind off so that you have more, um, like, s support at the shoulder seams instead of just continuing to knit. But then you pick it back up, which I think is the neatest picking up that I've ever done. Look at that. Yeah. That part I executed well. Mm -hmm. um, and then you pick it up, and then you just knit all the way down the bottom. And so then I seamed this together while we were on the plane coming back from Glacier, which also I think is the best seaming I've ever done. Oh, yeah, that's really good. That's really good. This is a little choppy here, but this other side is even... Wow. That's pretty... I think that's mm. the best yeah, seeming I've ever good. seen myself do. Really good. Um, and then, and then oh. you do the sleeves on here. But that's kind of interesting because now your sleeve shape is very different than when you do like a circular yoke mm -hmm. because yeah. you've got all this extra fabric here, which probably won't make any difference to Vinny. But it does look different. Mm -hmm. So I had to pick up stitches there, which I was I was okay with how that turned out too. I felt like I tried a, a number of techniques that I did better with this time than I have in the past. Cool. So wow. that's my other whip that will be the next thing I finish, I believe. We're very close. <whistles> very close. Wow. And then once I finish that, then I'm moving on to Annie's sweater, which I don't think I've shown on here before. I'm going to do the Vanish sweater by Heidi May. Uh, yeah, it's showing up. Yeah. Here we go. And, I, oh. and I did my swatch for this. I'm using... Oh, that's not good. I shouldn't leave it like that. Mm -hmm. there. No. How did that happen? Ah, this is Life in the Long Grass yarn. Okay. And... This is Malabrigo Rios. So I'm putting those together. And this was the swatch. Oh, which is pretty cool. It is really cool. So Annie liked that. But I asked her if she wanted more of a solid instead of the kind of variegated color. And she liked the solid better. So I'm going to use this instead of the Life in the Long Grass for the actual sweater. So that will be the next one that I'll do once I finish Vinny's bird sweater. Dang, that's pretty. Yeah, I do like that. This, yeah. um... Man, man. Malabrigo Rios is really pretty. Yeah, isn't it though? Those colors. I like that. So, and it's not like I was in a rush to get it knit because it's summer. It's not going to wear it right now anyway. So, that's my other whip. Well, going to be whip soon. Does it count as a whip if you've only done the swatch? Probably not. No. I'm counting it as a whip. That's part of the work. Yeah. The work in progress. Okay. What else do we have to share? Well, all I have left is I gathered a bunch of yarn that I thought I oh. could just show and say, I don't know what I'm going to 
going to do with this stuff yet. Okay. Oh, here is a faux. Oh, yeah. These are... Uh, something with a slash or side. Um, yes. Side hustle cuffs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> side hustle cuffs. And now I can't remember who designed them. And I'll I'm look it up. I am so sorry because she's a really neat designer. Met her at... Zombie? The Zombie Knit Apocalypse. And this is the same yarn that I used in my double crossed cowl and there there was just enough to make these um these cuffs so there's no thumb on it you guys you just put the cuffs on and um shanna cohen there you go she's she designs things that are very unique so side hustle cuffs look like this you could if you wanted get this part on your thumb and tack that right together so that you have a thumb part here. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why you why you want to do that. Why would you want to? Well, if, it, if they're slipping around too much and you want them to stay in place. And yet, I don't know why anybody would wear this. Maybe it's, well, you love it. Well, what I mean is there are no fingers. So I'm going to wear this on my hand with, with no fingers. But you just said, why would anybody wear it? But aren't you planning to wear it because you love it? I no, I don't know. I may give it away. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. But I just think the, the construction is super I love cool. that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth about knitting sometimes. It okay. is. It's just, I just wanted to knit it's just fun the, to make it. the extra yarn, and I thought they were neat. Um, I'm yeah. looking at her other patterns. She has 46 patterns. Yeah, she's really... A cool designer. She's really, really neat. Um, Darn Knit Anyway in Stillwater, Wisconsin. Yeah. Hosted a La Bienname meet and greet with oh. Amy Gilly. Yeah. Did you not talk about that? Because that was in. I did not talk about that. Um, because I my friends were more starstruck than I was. And... They got way more out of it than I did. Okay. You, you, what did you like about it? Let's say that. What did you like about it? I liked meet her, meeting her in person. And she was there. And she gave tips to people on this is how you should knit a garment that fits you. You should do A, B, C, say? and D. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, I, I can't remember. So this is what I bought there. I bought this was a brand new um, Premier colorway launched at at DKA at DKA. Wow. Mm -hmm. What's it called? I don't know. O Ostara. Ostara. Wow. So it's just very subtly mm -hmm. speckled. And I bought it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's a Who fun knows? memory. Mm -hmm. It's fun memory. That'll be pretty in the winter, I think. I think so. Mm -hmm. This is a skein of yarn I got oh. in my swag bag at Nipocalypse. Nipocalypse. They give you a swag bag, too? You oh, didn't even mention gee, that. Oh, I got that. This and is I by got... Cato Yarn Co. Yep. From Mankato. Oh. I got this cool little bag. Oh. That is um, cool. Mm-hmm. Is that... Can I see that? What's just printed bag. on that? It's a Z... ZK 2023. Yep. yep. That's a great little bag. Yeah. And the theme was up, up, and away. And you can see the little balloons in it. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's well done. I like that. Yeah. And we got this a really cool coffee mug um, made by Deneen Pottery. They're... Very big deal here in Minnesota. That's a good swag bag. Mm -hmm. And we got a thing of yarn. We got um, stitch, not stitch stoppers, but these stitch holders. Um, what kind of stitch holder? They're little balls with springs in them, and they'll they go on. The your... thing that you for the thing that you got more of at Stephen B. 
I didn't get more of them. No. Okay. No. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Who knows? I'll probably, I, I don't know. Socks. One, one skein. No, nope, I'm sick of socks. I'm kind of, um, I don't think I like knitting socks, but I kind of feel like knitting a pair. I may have shown Ooh. this before. It looks like a parrot to me, but I, I don't remember you showing. Me. I think this is so freaking pretty. Yeah. Um, I think one of my friends won it on a on a Knit the River cruise. Oh. And at sweater camp last year, she came with a bunch of mm -hmm. of these things mm -hmm. to just you guys pick one. I'm never gonna use this. Pick one. And she, when I picked this, she pulled it. She said, looked right at me and said, "I knew you were gonna pick that." <laughs> That's and cool. Then. Carissa Kuslick gave me this, oh, and I still haven't come up with something to knit. To knit, that's it. pretty, isn't it? Uh huh. Because it's kind of gray and brown, so that will go with a lot of things. Yes. Oh, I thought I had a, a gray one in here, but I, I oh, I thought maybe I could pair it with something like this mm -hmm. and do a, you know, maybe a doodle cowl or something. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. That's pretty. I yeah. think this is going to really be pretty when you knit it. I think so, too. Oh, wow. And it's got some um, rust and gold speckles in it, yeah. which are my faves. Are they? Mm -hmm. I really love, um, especially gold. Speckle. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know that. Then I did buy this. <gasps> oh, it's the jelly, isn't it? Or jam or something? It's called peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Well, peanut butter. I think it's like peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh. I did buy this when Amy Gilly was there. Mm -hmm. I've been pining about that for oh. years. Ooh, what are you going to... I don't know. You could just pair it with something and knit a double colored cowl out of it. it it'll probably be something by Pacific Yarn Co. Knit Co. Yeah. Pacific Knit Co. The same as this. What if you did the flowers, the spring flower doodles with this? Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Yep, yeah, me too. She knits or makes dyes yeah. very pretty yeah. yarn. And then I was gifted <laughs> two skeins oh. of this. An, an Do you think your. I feel like. All the things you've shown today are colors that I really like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and usually I think you have like, we have like slightly different color preferences. Uh huh. But I feel like you're really leaning to my side today. I, yeah. I... <laughs> Did you see how good that looks together too? Does that look good together? I like that together. You'd probably need a third color in there, but. The color is mm. slightly in there. Yeah. What is this? Madeline. What did you say? You just, someone gave this to yeah, you? Yeah, for a, a birthday or Christmas. You got gift. good friends. I know. You got good friends. So, you know, I was at Darn It Anyway the, the other day with Nicole because mm -hmm. it was her birthday month. And I didn't buy, a, there was some yarn I wanted or I Why thought. Don't I have of it her birthday in my phone. I Happy birthday, know. Nicole! <laughs> I was going to buy some, some Sistari cotton to do a sweater in. Her birthday. Um, her birthday is August 14th, I think. Um, so in a way, I, I have too year, many Nicole. other um, skeins of yarn, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not buying more yarn. I'm just not. Okay. No, we'll see about that. But I also think that this is where... Perhaps you should have sent the happy birthday message via group message so that other people... I don't do that. I send cards. You guys are on I'm your own for own. remembering. I make everyone cards and I send them through the mail. God. Yeah. You, are, how confident are you that it was the 14th? I am 98.6% confident. Okay, I'm entering it then and it's going to repeat every year. Nicole, I won't forget again. After this podcast, I will let you know if, if I'm correct because it's okay. in the other room. Okay. Let's do it at 6 a.m. Remind me. Okay. <laughs> okay. August 14th to 23. It's coming at you. Okay. Nicole. Um, I have one more 
one more combination of yarn to share. Oh, I forgot about those two FOs. I have two non-knitting FOs that I told you about in June, actually. Um, this was that cross-stitch pattern by Diane Waters, Handmade. That turned out pretty well. Kit purchased where? Uh, On Etsy. Okay. Diane Waters, Handmade. So that was... That's so cute. Yeah, it was yeah, cute. cute. It was easy. I just got to decide how I'm going to finish it now, but I might never, because I just put it on the shelf already. Mm -hmm. Tuck this. Yeah, up. tuck it up. Yeah, so that was great. Yeah, that was a fun FO. Cute. And then one other was that Cali Creme macrame kit oh, yeah. that I showed you guys last time, which I also made. How fun. Yeah, these are fun. Well, this was fun because it was like, I don't know, an hour, two, or two, maybe? That was all. So... That was also from Etsy, Cali Creme, K A L I C R A M E. That was a fun little dabble in a new uh -huh, hobby. Yeah. Never had done macrame before. So, <laughs> one Uno Mas yarn combo. We're back to the three yarns that my sister gave me that I'm still trying to find what to do with them without buying other yarns, but then I buy a bunch of other yarns to try to use them, and then I don't, and then I just have more yarn. But I was rolling around with my yarns and pulling them out and resorting them. Which is fun in itself. Yep. And then this combo kind of rolled into each other. And I thought, that's perfect. It is perfect. I like that very much. Uh -huh. So this is, again, more leftover. <laughs> Lobby anime. Lobby anime yeah. from that green sweater. It's just going to come back again and again. Spin um, cycle dyed in the wall. Yeah. Spin cycle. I think this is rusted rainbow. Yep. Died in the wall oh. from my dear sister Kylie. Can't wait to do that. So I already know what pattern I'm gonna do. It's a double knit pattern. I did it a long time ago. It's a double knit pattern? Yes. And it makes a plaid cowl. Oh, I did yeah. it for Colby. Yeah, I remember when you did seven that. Seven years ago maybe. And it was good. But I did the the cast on one of the Either the cast on or the bind off. It's way too tight. Oh. Way too tight. I But I was a pretty new knitter at that time. So I'll do it better this time. I'm pretty confident about that. I think. I know I have the pattern right in here. God. Too bad I don't have that I sweater really go anymore. Back. I should go back and look at your um, projects. No, you shouldn't because there's only. Like, look at all Oh, no I picture, oh, okay. but I like to keep the patterns for this precise reason. Oh. No, it's okay. there's just no picture. Um, gingham neck warmer in double knit, though that's what it is. I can pull up the pattern. See, I think people are gonna want to knit this. I think so too. I think that's really cool. It is. It turned out really cool too. Gingham neck warmer in double so knit. In the other side, it's re it's the opposite of what you mm -hmm. showed. Oh wow! Yeah. It basically looks just like that sort of plaid pattern, but um, you can kind of see it on here. See? Yep. It looks pretty much the same. That's super cool. Yes. Yeah. Mm, come on. Neat. So that is called Gingham, Gingham Neck Warmer in Double Knit by Gabriella Papele. And free pattern. Ooh, it's free. So that was cool. I'm looking forward to knitting that. I think that'll be an easier knit mm -hmm. to just have for riding in the car. That's all I've got. I am spent for fibers. Can you tell me what time it is? 4.37. And you, you books. have to leave a I six? do have a book, yeah. But I do have a good book to share. Um, not to make you all jealous or anything, but Carissa and I are going to make um, homemade pizza after this. So, <laughs> <laughs> Got to leave time for that. Yeah. Books. Yeah, you go first because I've been talking. I am listening to Spare. Listening to Spare. Read by the author himself, Prince Harry. Oh. And I am loving it to hear his own story in his own words. I think it's in three Spare. sections. I am in section number two. The first section is... Is Harry the one with red hair? Mm -hmm. So the first section is... Is he the youngest? Um, yeah. Are there only two or are there three boys? Two. Okay. So the first section is um, 
like mom and dad get divorced, mom dies, his schooling. Second section is um, finding himself. He, he becomes a, he joins the army in Britain and it's how all that goes. And now it's kind of leading up to, I really want to be a husband. Um, Prince William is, they're pregnant with child number three. I want to be a husband, but n nobody wants to sign up for royal life. But it's really, but it's so good. It's so eye opening. It's so good. No one wanted to well, and marry he him and become a princess. Well, no, and and nobody and and he also like in his gut, I think. None of these gals, even though um, he has a heart for all of them and one he was in love with, um, didn't want to sign up for royal life. If when you hear him talk about this, like he, they're held captive by the press. Really? Yeah, it's it's really interesting. It is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't think about that. I think. Nope. I think about. Okay. So, any other books yep. that you want to talk about? I am reading Mame, M-A-A-M-E. Don't know the author. It's a Jenna, um, Jenna's book pick by Jenna Bush Hager. Um, I am liking it. I'm not very far into it, so I can't say anything yet. I, I don't really know. Does it keep you, do you keep wanting to go back for more? I'm not into it far enough yet to. How not far yet. are you? How not far? Mm, 50 pages out of 300 and some. Well, that's 20%. So it's not for me then? Not yet. Let's hope it does. Soon. Very soon. I am reading a book that has drawn me in. Drew me in right away. But I'm only... <gasps> I love this one so Oh, you've much. read it? Yes. Oh, you read it. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't tell me. You guys don't run, don't walk to read this book. American Dirt. Yeah. By Janine Cummins. Another Jenna, Jenna Bush recommendation. Was it? It says so. It says Oprah. Oh, it's Oprah. My bad. My bad. I didn't know that when I chose it. That's not uh, why I chose oh. it, but I can see why she recommended it. It's beautifully written, and I'm listening to it, and this narrator... Yeah. Oh. It is like find a... find the narrator's name. Narrator is Yareli Arzmendi. I could listen to her read anything. She does you a hit the ground job. running immediately in this book, and yeah. it grabs you by the neck, and it it sends you on. I'm already, I've already like the characters that I've fallen in love with that I'm already yes. like foreboding joy. Like, I know. Oh, yes, what's gonna happen to them? I know. No, yeah, I, know. I don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm really enjoying it, and it also gives perspective that I've, well, I've never had, never experienced that in my life. But it does resonate. When I was in Los Angeles and um, I was working, one of my internships was at a county hospital there, Rancho Los Amigos. And so a number of our patients at that hospital, because I was working like inpatient neuro, was, were gang members who had been shot and they had resulting brain injury or spinal cord injury. And... Um, so I did that, and then I also did an uh, internship with the Department of Mental Health. And so it was community-based, where we'd work with kids in the different communities to work on um, building some resilience in mental health. Yeah. And when I was there, I in those two experiences, I, I, I came in like Wisconsin country girl thinking, like, why would anyone choose to be in a gang? Mm -hmm. And I realized how little choice there was yeah. for these uh, kids yeah. in particular that I worked with in the school. I was like, it was... Not really a choice, yeah. uh, not really a choice. matter of survival, really, mm -hmm. for them. And so that resonates with kind of what is happening in the book thus far. But I'm 48% into it. So uh, don't, don't tell me anything other than, am I going to be happy or sad at the end? So first, here's what I'm going to say to the people watching. This is a story about a mother and a son in Acapulco, Mexico, mm -hmm. that have to go on the run from the Mexican mafia. Mm -hmm. That's cartel. All... The cartel. Okay, cartel. Well, I don't know if there's a difference. I'm just using the uh, Okay, the cartel. You're right. The cartel. That's Yardineros. all I'm going to say. 
Less younger, and there um, I think the ending is realistic yet promising. Okay, okay, that leaves me hopeful. Yep, it is hopeful. The ending is hopeful. Okay, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It draws you in for yeah. sure, and the writing is beautiful. Yeah. but also this narrator. Yeah, like even Acapulco, like she, she, um. Her accent? Yeah, I mean, her yeah. accent, how her speech patterns yeah. are like far, like I think probably Mexican. Yeah. yeah. And um, she, is that right to say that her speech patterns are Mexican? I Spanish? guess, yeah. If that's a mistake, I apologize. Um. Um, but anyway, so like even Acapulco is not like, like we say, Acapulco. She's like Acapulco. Like it's just in a different, there's different emphases and it's. Her voice like, is beautiful. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm not listening to it in 1.25, which is what I usually do oh. in audiobooks to like <laughs> get through it. <laughs> but I finished Lord of the Rings and I was doing 1.25 and it was like, at the end, it was just like, I'm just pushing play and I'm barely listening to this because I just couldn't <laughs> concentrate anymore and I just wanted to be done with them so I could move on. So I opted to not do 1.25 this time. But that yeah. was a, a recommended book so far. And you would recommend it too, so then you can yeah. really trust that. Even though I'm not I gave it a five. five. I'm pretty sure I gave it a five. Um, well written. So yeah, I don't think you guys are going to see us for another three or four months. So yeah, um, savor this podcast because. Well, I mean, maybe September. Oh God. It's August though. Just that listen, would be not very listen far to away. this. Listen to this. Yeah. Listen to me. You're talking to me? Yeah. Or them? Okay. I'm talking to you and them. Okay. I have a friend named Katie, who who I met first at Sweater Camp. Hey, hey, Aaron and, and Carrie, anybody want to go to Squam with me? <gasps> oh, yes! Yeah, so I'm going to Squam oh. in September. And we that can't is, podcast until after that. Yeah. So that is over in. We gotta fly to Boston. Yeah, we gotta nice. rent a car in Boston. We gotta drive to New Hampshire to this place. Um, Can't wait. I know. Well, that's not just knitting, though, right? It's not just knitting. It's it's an art retreat. Do it's, you know your workshops or whatever? Yeah, but I can't remember. I I don't even care what they are. I'm just <laughs> I don't even care. Well, Katie's got a. At the risk of, of divulging too much, she's got a health thing going on, and she texted Carrie and I and said, I'm not sure if I can go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yep, yep. And but then I start panicking it, because Carrie has to rent her own car and leave a day early. And then I'm thinking, I'm going to have mm. to freaking rent my by own yourself. car and drive by myself from Boston to New Hampshire. You can do it. I'm having a cow. You can do it, Ari. Can I do it? You absolutely can. So I'm praying to God that Katie can go so that not I can. just so she can drive you around. I mean, <laughs> I, I need, I need, I want to be partners in crime with somebody. Yeah, that would be. You. It, it, yeah, yeah. So anyway, but you will be okay either way. I know. You. Are stronger than you might feel. Do I? I don't know. I you are stronger than you might feel. Like. <laughs> You're not a wimp. Okay. Mm -mm. No. Okay. All right. I think this is it. I think that's enough of us today. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. All right, you guys. Be good. Wait. When in September is that? Mid. Like the second week. Okay. Second or third week. Second week, I think. Yeah. We'll shoot for October and see what happens. Yeah. October in October, to... I've got I've got the Fresh Art Tour, and then I go with Char over to the Wisconsin Dells to some spa re retreat with oh, her. And then, very she she mm -hmm. September October for you. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, hopefully by December. Yeah, it's, we've got a podcast before March because March to June is out. Okay. We okay. Will. We'll find a way. Maybe <laughs> maybe Thanksgiving time like maybe. we did before. All right. We love you all. Um, be good. Happy knitting. And we'll see you soon. Yep. Bye-bye.